What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Twice's new mini album slash EP, Ready to Be. Their 12th EP, first since last August's Between One and Two. Their second release since renewing their contracts with JYP Entertainment last year. Twice, of course, the nine member K pop supergroup, the third most streamed K pop act on global Spotify in 2022, toured a World, the world last year about to embark on another world tour in 2023, hitting stadiums, a massive group. People know this at this point. And you know, I think there was a lot of perhaps anticipation, apprehension, perhaps about the direction of Twice before they did that uh, renewal of their contracts with JYP. Because, of course, uh, K-pop acts continuing with second contracts is no sure thing in the history of the industry. And also, you know, Nyon released a solo album to great acclaim uh, last summer as well. My favorite K-pop album of last year. But it seems like Twice is reinvigorated as a unit with this new re- release ready to be, which I actually think is really great. And probably my favorite Twice as a group release, at least my favorite one that I've heard in, in, in a while. You know, Twice has so much music out that there's going to be a wide range of opinions on what's the best and whatnot. But to me, I think Ready to Be is a really confident, impressive release. You know, seven tracks, 20 minutes, really six tracks, one of which is a English version of, of a release song already. It set me free and set me free in English. So it's really six songs. It's not a lot, but I think it makes a really lasting impression quite quickly and is a great... I think example of why Twice is a popular group and has been a twi- popular group for you know eight years now. We I mean, just think about it right right off the bat. The lead single, "Moonlight Sunrise," that's the second English single Twice has released after the Feels in 2021. And like the Feels, this charted you know it's the biggest song in the U.S. for the group thus far. I like "Moonlight Sunrise" a lot. I think it's. I think, you know, just like the uh, the synthy like bass is like really evident. And like, this is a great example of, I think, like K-pop really pulling from like bass culture from the U.S., similar to how like New Jeans last year really bust down the scene with like Jersey Club influence. This specific like subgenre of inspiration and using it to great effect is really evident on Solid Moonlight Sunrise. So I think that like the production with those synths, with that just overwhelming like bass rhythm really cool um i think the rap flow on this song is quite effective and the only issue i have with moonlight sunrise which overall is a catchy track but i think the hook is a bit weak like once you hear the moonlight sunrise like chorus part a few times the i think the undercooked nature of that writing perhaps stands out a little bit so it's not my favorite chorus they've done and i think if you had maybe they had punched up that chorus in like a bit more intriguing way this could be like an amazing amazing track but it's not quite at that level, but it's still a thing really, really fun, really good. You know, track one, Set Me Free, I really love as well. Just, I think that bass line is super funky, almost like disco inspired. Um, the, the kick drum is is really, really engaging. And then you just have like this orchestral breakdown, this like string breakdown, like overall very impressive beat. The only issue I have with this song is I think the rap is like just okay, especially when you compare it to Moonlight Sunrise right afterwards. Like the flow on Set Me Free just isn't quite as good, but Nonetheless, like that, I think is my favorite song on this overall, just because I think that is like the most impressive beat and twice is ride it really well. Uh, track three, I've got the thrills, which is like a more dancey beat, which I like quite a bit. You have this, I think, really fun build up to the chorus. That's really enjoyable. Blame it on me. Perhaps the most surprising from a production standpoint to me, which again, I think is like speaking to what I said about there's like a lot of variety in this very brief uh, twice listen you know the 12th twice ep you wouldn't think it would be like something like brand new from them but i think it is because blame it on me you have this like really noticeable guitar lick in the beginning of the song almost like a country twang in terms of like the vibe i was feeling that definitely stood out to me and then wallflower i think is like perhaps the like the, the under the radar like catchy song on this release ready to be because wallflower like man that chorus that is just a bouncy song the rap breakdown at the end is also really good. Like, I think that one's super underrated. And then the last track, Crazy Stupid Love, you know, that's probably the latest song on the release, but also probably the best example of Twice as a nine-member group doing, like, amazing harmony together vocally. So 
I think no matter what you're looking for, ready to be, I think gives you a lot. And like in terms of like the light kind of bubbly, like poppy nature that is like the twice brand that's obviously here, but like the genre flourishes and the production variety on six tracks is like so evident. I think it just speaks to the confidence that this group has and they definitely feel like creatively renewed and and moving forward into their, the new era as a long running blockbuster group, which is obviously very exciting. That's the last, the last thing you would want is that to not be the case anymore. And this is tracking for, it's early, but 141, 160,000 first week, Billboard 200 in the US, which would be the biggest ever week for a female K-pop act, which if that holds would be obviously paramount and 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 crazy in, in, in a great way. So shout out twice, you know, you have all these hot new groups popping up with a Monster 2022 for rookies, you know, with Ivy and La Seraphim and New Jeans and Nimix, and yet twice is still super consistent and perhaps even surprising you uh in little moments like they do did to me with ready to be but let me know what do you think about this twice release it stand out to you compared to their other recent work and for more k-pop more music subscribe and i'll see you next time